When I grow squash, my goal is to have enough to last me through the winter. We've got three types of winter squash. The acorn, I find, don't last as long, and they come too early in the season. The butternut come at the perfect time. They come late in the season. You can leave them on the vines even after the vines die to dry out and cure in the sun. That's actually a good idea, and we'll have a video on that. Uh, and then the blue Hubbard squash, which are nice big squash. The seeds are fantastic, but I don't like them as much. This is personally my favorite. These plants for the Hubbard tend to get eaten by bugs faster for some reason and they don't produce as many. The butternut produce a lot. They're very productive. So these store better, I believe, and they produce more, just a more productive crop. So how do you store them? Well, let's go down into the basement and I'll show you how I do it. And what I do to prepare them is I just take a piece of newspaper, crumple it up, grab a milk crate, like so, and line the milk crate with the newspaper. And then I put the squash in the milk crate. This is a north facing window in our basement. And I have a temperature gauge here. And this, if you can see it, reads 55 degrees Fahrenheit. The optimal temperature is 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 60 to 70 percent humidity. Now that's optimal. It doesn't have to be that. I've seen people put them under a bed in a spare bedroom, in cardboard boxes. I use milk crates because it just happens to be what I have. One thing you want to remember to do if you are storing them long term is to check these every so often. And what I do is when I pack them, I put any that are damaged or have any nicks or scrapes or bumps or bruises on them in a separate crate and keep those at the top to eat first. So you want to check them because you want to look for something like this. You do not want that. So it happens. So you just pull it out and I will show you what I will do with this one and what I will do with some of the others that when I pick them are damaged I'm going to try to salvage as much of this one as I can. So I'm just going to cut off this rotten part. It's moldy. And you want to try to get them before they get that bad. But I'm going to see if there's anything that I can get out of this thing. Any of the other damaged ones. Instead of storing them down in the basement, you can freeze them like this, like I'm going to do. I'm going to scoop out these seeds. There's not many here. I usually save them and roast them. We'll have a video on that too. I'm going to cut off some of the skin. I'm going to cut it up into small pieces. These I'm going to use for putting in handful in some oatmeal or quinoa in the morning. I would slice it in bigger chunks if I was going to use it for soups. Once you've cut the squash into relatively uniform sized pieces, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and put it in the freezer. So that's how I store and freeze winter squash.